Hello everyone, it's Jin here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. So, we need to box in our little station here. And I thought about it, I'd like to put a few signs out as well. Uh, name a couple of things. I'd eventually like to name structures after, after some of the subscribers with... When I have a little bit more content to put out and a little bit more to name right now I thought of a good couple of names for the the station and the railway at least um, by going through and really looking at the video that I did yesterday the more and more I look at it sunrise and sunset tend to stick out because of the horizon and the way the rails are placed going into the sun and leaving the sun um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to name the stations as such. And we don't need this door anymore. So yeah, I want to name the stations as such. And I think that'll be uh, pretty cool. I think, yeah, I do need one workbench over there. Just in case. And that should be good for now. Oh, do I have chests? Yeah, got chests. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking, at least. So... The first thing I want to do is kind of box this in. And try not to fall down and kill myself from this height. Ouch. Okay. And I'm holding shift because I can't see what I'm doing. Alright, yeah, we're at the end. And. Okay. So this is going to line up here. Here and here. And this one just the same. And we're going to call this. Sunrise Station Rail Sunrise Rail Station and the other one is going to be the Sunset and the actual railway is going to be called Horizon Railway that's the name of the last episode so the rest of the challenge isn't going to be that bad. <clears throat> I actually think I needed to come out one more because I do not want this to interfere at all. So, yeah, let's come out one more. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is mess up that redstone that I got. Redstones, that's not a complicated project by any mean, but it's hard enough to figure out without actually worrying about what... uh exactly what we're worried about what is going to happen I'm sorry y'all I had so much coffee this morning so let's see so another thing is I did some research I did not want to use the music for the actual gameplay but for those of you that have an appreciation for game music I wanted to show you guys what the Ultima Online music was. Now, unfortunately, I can't use it at all because it's copyright. And if I were to be able to obtain a license to use it, it would probably be expensive, which I can't really go that route, y'all. But I can share a link to where you guys can view it, listen to it, download it, do whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. And I would ask that y'all listen to a few songs if y'all if y'all into that sort of thing. It's it's absolutely unbelievable how nostalgic that is for Ultima Online players, but all in all they were really good works of music and I really like game music. I'm I'm one of these people that are like, man, that was so cool back then, you know. The 8-bit and 16-bit type stuff from Nintendo. The, uh, you know, I'm an old school gamer. 
And when I'm just chilling, sometimes, you know how you get a song stuck in your head? It might be something might be something recent, might be something catchy. Well, Ultima Online really, really, really has songs like that. Like, I'll catch myself humming the old tunes or whistling the old tunes from my old UO days. They were so nostalgic. You know, um, that was probably my favorite game in history. It's it's lost so much. I know I talk about it often, but I really wish you guys would uh, would check that out and and see what I'm seeing through it. You know, it was really cool. So anyway, if you guys want to hear more about it, I'll be glad to share. But um, let's talk about some Minecraft. So outside of the housing projects that I talked to you about for uh, with the Ultima Online theme. Um, I want to do these stations up, uh, namely this station, with a bunch of split railing. And that last mountain that we visited is gonna is the first station, naturally. But the one over there that I talked about, the one that you can barely see, that large, large one, I want to make a mountain base there. So I'm definitely going to have the railway system going there. I'd like to get a huge expanse of form a little later on. Um, the automated wheat form is definitely going to be used, but I want to get uh, wheats, wheat, reeds. Uh, I want to get a bunch of um, watermelon and pumpkins. I want to make a form, almost like a plantation. We're going to make a plantation home. I think that would be real cool. Um, I'm a Cajun and I'm from Louisiana. We have tons of that around here. Uh, fields and while I can't plant what we plant around here, which is cotton and sugar cane, I can do sugar cane, but um, not not in the same manner. So, but yeah, I'm gonna make some expanse there. And hey, hey, look at this sunrise. I mean the sunset. That's the view you should get when pulling into the other station, if I'm thinking right. We're definitely going to need some windows. And now, I don't know how I'm going to wire this thing. So this is not going to be the final design. What it is going to be is a little bit of protection from the elements. The monsters are spawning or the thunder and lightning is going on. I'm going to plop down a little workbench in here and just get, I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy, maybe I should turn the other way, because <laughs> I was kind of getting dizzy, um, but yeah, I'm going to close this in, just like that, I'm going to make some windows, oh, and a good friend of mine actually told me that you can make window panes which I had no idea so yeah I'm definitely gonna use some of that for the new station I already have my glass and a workbench so let's see if I can do that now this is I don't know what's gonna be a good area for my workbench y'all I'm just gonna place one down we'll move it if we have to so for that to do this is what you do six pieces of glass well, I thought it was six pieces of glass. Oh, there they are. And it makes 16 just for six. So that's a lot less. Uh, that's much more cost effective. And let's just fill this in with like that. And we're going to do some glass panes. So let's see how this works. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, it fills in. It's like a half block or a block and a half. And I like that, guys. It's inset. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to definitely use that from now on. I'm not going to go out and breaking my glass to, to reset what I've already done, but that is so cool. And that was from Lockmaster G. So, Lockmaster, we thank you for your informative contribution, sir. Much appreciated. So let's see, let's build in the rest of this wall. And I'm going to do a rather large skylight here. Not a skylight, um, uh, like a bay window. 
especially now that we have cheap glass, huh? <laughs> All right. So let's avoiding the urge to do another balcony. So we got two on that side, three on that side. That is not going to work. And if y'all noticed, I'm using my diamond pick now pretty much full time when I'm doing my building projects. It is unbelievably faster. I don't have to change it out. Now when I adventure, naturally I won't be able to take that. Let's see. Let's do another one. Uh, cool. So yeah, that's what I'm using pretty much exclusively now. Uh, I really like that. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, so that just goes to show you how underexposed I am to the new stuff in Minecraft. All right. And there's three on that side, three on this side. Well, yeah, actually it's two. There. Now I can place... overlaps real real funny until it's completed though so yeah panes are pretty weird I guess you just have to leave them you have to close them in for them to look right so okay this is the start of our little station y'all so we definitely need to do the same thing at the other base and I believe I dropped the workbench at the other one if not I do have some wood if we absolutely need to make one and we're going to put a small chest in here as well we don't need a whole lot because our base is right there. But just in case, we need a few things like mine carts, namely. And I don't have enough iron to really store mine carts in there. And I'm only going to be using one right now. So I also, on the texture pack, I hope there's another way that we can get this button going. So for now, we're going to take a ride to the other station. And all aboard. See how it starts off real slow? I need to put another booster rail in there. There we go. Oh yeah, building up a little bit of speed now. Another thing I noticed is the countryside view is pretty nice with the swamp and stuff. Uh, you can At night you get to see all the, the mobs and the spawners. I had lit the area up down there for the original trek and it worked out really good because now some of it's lit up even at night. So it looks pretty cool. Another thing is, I don't know if it's my texture pack, but I really don't, like the water is just weird in the swamps for me. I guess I'm going to have to view it on the vanilla texture pack and see what it looks like. But all in all, the rest of the texture pack outside of the, the spawner and the mossy cobblestone is pretty cool. I am going to redo it. Like I had said in a previous episode, I looked into a couple of more and I really didn't see anything I absolutely loved. So we're going to stick with Painterly for now. But Now that was absolutely cool, guys, that ride. It was easy. I think the only addition I'm going to need to make is that extra powered rail. So I'm actually going to do one right here as well since I have enough redstone torches to do it. I'm going to make a detector rail, uh, not a detector rail, a powered rail right here. And we're just going to do it like the other ones too. I'm not going to go on the outside, I don't think. Let's do a redstone torch. Right there. And yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, so we're going to need, let's see, we need a chest, and we need a workbench. We already have the workbench. Excellent. All right, let's get some glass going here. 16 more panes. Oh, God, it's so cool. Six glass goes a long way now, All right? I'm going to make it dark for just a second. I'm 
Use the shovel, brother. Okay. Hmm. Now that's going to be a problem. Uh, yeah, can't do that. Can't do that. Real glass. It has to be right here, y'all, unfortunately. It just won't look right without it. Oh, well. There. That isn't really horrible, is it? Not too bad. Yeah, that's good. And we can still use the panes on this side of leaf. Let's see. That's two spaces, so... Two spaces on either side. I can use... No. Yeah, I should probably torque at the stone. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And a real... Not tiny, I won't say, because it's actually going to be six. But let some daylight in here when we're not. There we go. I'm going to eliminate a couple of trees around here just to increase the viewing area. Because it is rather tight, like on this side. And I actually, I know I have a way down here. I want to change that, by the way. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to take a drink right quick. All right, guys. So, yeah. I want to make this go one further back. Still have the same ladders. Yes, I need to use that stone after all. as well. I think four will be enough. Oh, not nearly enough. Not for this port at least. do one more set. We're not going to do it all the way down. Not now, at least. And there we go. Why am I not... Uh, 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 uh. Don't tell me. Uh-oh. That isn't no good. That's no good at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't do that. Okay. Shucks. That's... That stinks. Oh, well. Can't do that. Well, it was almost perfect, y'all. into a cobblestone right quick and bang there we go so it'll still allow us for quick escapes and stuff if we need it and I do need to replace that rail now too anything happen no the powder rail still intact redstone still good okay cool so yeah this is the little station so now we need to go save all this stuff up. Oh, one final little deal. So 
Sunset, Sunset Rail Station. And the other one was the Sunrise. I believe I got that right. So, yeah, there you have it. Okay, so we're going to head back, gather up some supplies, and we're going to attempt to start the making of the trap down below. So stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're approaching Station Sunset here. There we are. And we want to get this started. I didn't grab it up a whole, whole bunch. This is mainly what I put together real quick. Oh, and I never showed you guys this map. I guess I was going to show you guys the way it looks. This is a map. Now, where you see my cursor is, is pretty much where our house is, right southeast of that. Pretty much where the pretty much where that brown spot is okay that's our house on the map now all the way west to the very end of the map on the left is where our cursor is at now that's the spawner or that's where we're at now the second station so I just thought I'd show you guys that and how that worked also got a couple of pistons I don't know how I'm gonna build this trap yet but I know I'm gonna need some sort of release to where those things can come out the idea behind the trap is to make sure that you can collect a large amount of creatures without swinging on them a ton of times and just use a fist or a simple weapon to uh, to finish them off, get a last lick so the experience and uh, the items will come out. So back in the day you used to build drowning traps but that's when loot was fall no matter what and now it really doesn't. So I hear that Dorn Poisonous Spotter again, apparently, our methods of stifling that spawner did not work. So that's okay. Soon they'll be falling to their near deaths for us to grab all of the goodies from them. So that's the spawner there. And I really don't have a clear way to get down here. I guess I should probably make one, huh? replace that torch. I don't want to go into it blind. There we are. Come here, ball. Come here, old ball. It's still a little bit too low. Okay. No problem. We're full on food. We can take it if he hits us. Okay, so, yeah, that's where we want to go, yeah, there we go, oh, there's a couple of them down there, that's okay, oh, those suckers, man, when they touch you, you poison, that's just all there is to it. As long as we fully fed, we cool. Come on, man. Just because I'm swinging. <laughs> Mud the freakers. Alright. And let's do this. Alright. Still hearing some some bull going on down there where y'all at? I know y'all around here, I knew it not that it even helps that I know cause y'all still gonna stick me freaking bastards okay ouch oh my god and a creeper I heard him Couldn't take a chance, yo. I know this spot is just jacking me up. The fire got him. Woo! Safe for now. Not for long, though. I still hear him, too. Man, this place is dangerous. 
Okay, so let's see. Let's pull out our axe and hope that we can heal up before something else happens. Chop down this stuff right quick, and we gonna box this in. It's the first thing we're gonna do, y'all. Box it in. It's gonna be sloppy at first, plus I got a little bit of lag. Man, I got a lot of lag. Okay. And let's see. This is gonna get boxed in too. going on some some serious stuff to, oh I bet you it's that uh I bet you there was one right in there yep the way I heard him dying it sounded like something was hitting him so yeah it was some suffocation going on which is good those bastards <laughs> no not the torch hit him with something real hit him with the sword oh I need a hotkey that I can touch for emergency. It's just like a panic button that draws my sword. Okay. We're gonna get this sucker sealed in tight so we don't have to worry about anything that's not in this room. Keep getting double freaking placements. I don't know why. I want this iron too. I know it's ugly right now, yo, but it will be. Oh my lord. Dang. Seal it up. All right, let's see what we got here. I know I'm just breaking up the stairway that I had, but this is the way I was part of that stairway. But and let's lay down a few more torches, I guess. We'll try to. Um, Eliminate some of this spawn. Man, it is vicious though, huh? It is some kind of vicious. Okay. I feel semi safe. I don't, I still don't think that's gonna do it, but. And what's even crazier is that. In order to build a drop trap, we need to go down so we won't be able to break these bricks because those suckers can probably get us like that. So let's start eliminating some of this stuff. Oh, we definitely don't need the lack of light. So let's put another torch there. Okay. So, I don't know how many blocks these things need to fall in order to in order to get hit so hard that they almost die. So what I'm gonna do is just start digging down. I think we have plenty of room before we get to bedrock, so that should be close. And I'm just gonna hollow this part out first. That way you guys can see what I'm looking at. No, or we're gonna take we're gonna take this room. Oh dang! Hello. Everywhere. Got y'all suckers. Where's my torch? Retorch that. 
There was another spawner. I had forgot about that. They had been building up them suckers. Either that or it's from this spawner. I don't know. I know that they have one right there. And to think almost off screen this mess. Get off me. Man. Stupid poison. Alright. We cool for now. some of this wood and get this out of the way and let's see I don't want no nooks and crannies them suckers already hard like hell okay where was that other spawner was it somewhere around here I think we're pretty safe maybe they come from up top or something, or down there, probably. Excuse me a second, guys. Alright, guys, I'm sorry about that. We just had an extremely itchy throat. So, oh, and I needed to go in another level deeper. I forgot about that. That was the whole reason for digging that out in the first place. There we go. I hear still still hear spiders all around so I'm pretty sure they spawn on the outside of this this joint okay so for the most part this section is all right Okay, so now I'm going to go underneath. Got to be careful here. If there's a, a hole or a chasm underneath me, and I dig down. I'm going for a drop. I can't do that. And we're also taking a huge risk with the spiders being in an enclosed area. Especially only having one food on me, that was two food on me, that was silly of me not to bring more. It's too bad the spiders don't drop any spider legs. <laughs> Alright. I've seen this show on Food Network called Bizarre Foods. And it seems like everybody but us eats spiders. Now, out of all the delicious things to eat in this world, why would anybody choose an insect? I don't know, but they do it but I'm not opposed to it in a game so I don't have to taste it <laughs> alright so I think we're pretty safe for now so I'm gonna go ahead and dig down some more guys and go toward bedrock if I find anything interesting I'll make sure to grab you so sit tight alright guys we just hit bedrock so that is just gonna have to be high enough I can't even see where I was at so that's a pretty good thing I suppose so I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in here and it's gonna be hard to test this because we're gonna have to make a spider drop and when a spider drops if it dies automatically it's too high so we'll need to come up with it some so this is actually going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and gravel my way up here. Let's add a couple of... Well, we got enough torches. It's just that high enough. Okay. Alright. Oh, I had added a little bit because I actually needed to get back. So I'm going to figure out how to clear this out and get one spider to drop wherever that hissing noise is at. I'm going to lure him in here and um, I'll film that and see if he dies. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm making a little stair way down and um, I noticed that other spawner and I wanted to find it anyway. So I added a little bit more light and now I'm just boxing in every way that isn't that one. And I'm going to try to conjoin the area. 
so that we can use both spawners for the drop point. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Let's continue boxing this in. That's where the spawner is, and that's where our stairway is, I believe. Yeah. So we we definitely don't need this anymore. And I'm going to re-access these paths later, but for now, the idea is just to give us a safety spot. And it's not going to be pretty either. Ah, I broke my axe and my shovel. So now I'm down to just my diamond pick, which is actually starting to get kind of low now. Let's see. And the reason why I'm totally sealing them is that spiders can fit through just about anything. So, jeez, they come out of nowhere on you. I'm also out of food, so it's getting pretty ridiculous. Okay, almost got it sealed. Got so many torches on it, and they still spawn it from that sucker. Back in the day, you used to just be able to one, put one torch down, and that was it. Now, shoot, you need some serious stuff going on. All right, also want to block this off. That'll give us a little bit of peace of mind, at least. And we definitely want to block that off, too. Boom. There we go. Alright, so this place is torched pretty well. This will be all sealed up in just a moment. One more layer here. And there. Now I think we got it pretty much sealed up, y'all. So let's get back to our little stairway, which is here. Good, yeah, it's working well like that. I'm just gonna break these blocks right quick. I decided to pick up that chest too, that empty chest that I had from the spawner earlier. Let's see. Oh, come on. There we go. up a little bit all right well now that we know where we're going guys i'm gonna go ahead and grab some more tools and stuff and uh so we couldn't get a little bit further but when we come back i'm going to finish off linking these two spawners together um test our spider theory that we <laughs> we couldn't do yet because of all the uh the nonsense with the second spawner and then uh, we'll move from there so thanks you guys for watching this is Uljin signing off and have a good day